Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this story is about any parent's worst nightmare. When you go shopping, you have a certain trust with brands and also the shop as well. And a 45-year-old dairy farmer named Nigel Wright took advantage of this trust when he decided to try to blackmail one of the biggest companies in the UK. This was also one of the biggest ever blackmail probes carried out by the NCA in the UK. Nigel Wright contaminated jars of baby food in several stores in Lockerbie and also Rochdale. Video footage actually showed the moment that the farmer planted jars of baby food laced with razor blades on top of supermarket shelves. Nigel Wright was found guilty of trying to extort one point five million pound from Tesco in a campaign that has seen him jailed for 14 years. Footage that was released by the police showed the 45 year old entering the store in Scotland before approaching the baby food aisle. He bent down to look at the jars and he removed something from his jacket pocket and puts it into his trolley. He then appears to fiddle around with items in the trolley before placing multiple jars back on the shelf and leaving the store. Two mothers found the dangerous metal fragments when feeding their children. Married father of two right, so he has two children himself, and he still went out of his way to try to potentially injure or kill young children. He threatened to inject tins of fruit to cyanide and salmonella unless the supermarket handed over the 1.5 million in Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency. The threats sparked the largest operation ever seen in Britain to do with a blackmail and more than 100 officers were deployed across the country to do with this case. At one stage, in excess of 30 officers were watching CCTV on day and night shifts to ensure the food was not tampered with. Wright signed these emails and letters as Guy Brush and the Dairy Pirates and Tinkerbell the Naughty Fairy. And he said he represented dairy farmers who had been underpaid by Tesco. I thought that was a very interesting thing that they said. So I thought we'd look into why dairy farmers could possibly be angry at Tesco. And it turned out that back in 2007, supermarkets were fined £116 million for fixing the price of milk and dairy. And Tesco was among these companies. And of course, people don't really think about the people that provide the supermarkets with their food. Companies like Robert Wiseman or Dairy Crest and the Cheese Company. Often little is known about them, but they are working hard in the background to ensure that these companies can become the billionaire conglomerates that they are. And I found it very interesting that that was his cause and also his reasoning. He triggered two nationwide recalls on Karen Gate and Heinz Baby Food as a result of the threats that he did. He prompted the supermarket to clear 140,000 products on the shelves. A detective posed as a Tesco employee and went undercover as the name Sam Scott. He handed over £100,000 in cryptocurrency to trap the blackmailer. He was eventually arrested on February the 25th of this year following an investigation led by Bedfordshire, Cambridgeshire and Hertfordshire Major Crime Unit with the help of the National Crime Agency. It also involved the Food Standards Agency, Food Standards Scotland, Public Health England, Public Health Scotland and also Police Scotland. So this involved at least half a dozen different departments that worked together for this one man. Assistant Chief Constable Bill Jepson said he led the investigation on behalf of Hertfordshire Constabulary and he described it as the most serious and most challenging product contamination case he'd ever dealt with in the UK. Wright was caught on CCTV buying wine and flowers for his wife after placing contaminated jars on a shelf in a Scotland branch on November the 29th last year. He also placed two jars of contaminated food on shelves in a Rochdale shop. And a Scottish mother said that she felt sick when she found the shards in the jars of Heinz sweet and sour chicken when her 10-month son was eating it. Miss Smith from Scotland said her son had already had several mouthfuls when she had spotted a shard in the bowl in December 2019. She said, I took the bowl out of the microwave and I gave my son a couple of spoonfuls and noticed something shiny was inside it and I put my finger in to point it out. It was horrendous. I felt sick. I was so shocked. Her husband found a second piece at the bottom of the jar. 
The incident led to a nationwide recall of 42,000 tins of that product. And a second mother told them how she found chippings of metal inside a Heinz Sunday chicken dinner and cheese and tomato pasta stars. She wept in court as she told how she had been moments away from feeding it to her nine-month-old daughter. I put it in a bowl and I went to the microwave and there was metal chippings in there. At first, I didn't think anything of it. I binned it. But then in a separate occasion, I opened the second jar of Heinz cheese and tomato stars. And again, I saw the metal chippings inside. Prosecutor Julian Christopher QC said, The blackmailer took delight in his extravagant plan to outsmart the supermarket giant. He believed he could get rich without leaving any trace of his identity behind. And by using Bitcoin cryptocurrency and downloading a Tor browser, he thought his communication was anonymous. But his emails and letters were forwarded to the police and he soon became unwittingly interacting with an undercover officer. A draft of an email to Tesco was found on, on one of Wright's devices after his property was searched. The threat said, imagine a baby's mouth cut open and blood pouring out. Inside their bellies are cut and bleeding. If you pay, you save them. Reading excerpts of emails sent by him, the prosecutor said, Dear Sam, we have been polite and courteous as we recognise that you are just an employee who goes home at the end of the day. It appears we both failed to do what we said to do and if you set up a bank account you can purchase Bitcoin and transfer them into our account. As a goodwill gesture we will tell you you have 8 jars of Cow and Gate baby food on supermarket shelves on Tuesday the 21st and Wednesday the 22nd of January and there are only 6 jars left so only 6 dead potential babies. Wright admitted sending the emails and letters to Tesco demanding the money but his defence was that he was forced to do so by a gang of gypsies. He said that the travellers came to his farm and threatened to kill his children and rape his wife unless he paid them £500,000. When he was asked why he asked the company for triple the amount, he said that he'd seen somewhere ransoms were never paid in full and only half were paid. He said that he'd been handed the contaminated jars by one of his alleged handlers and they followed him to the Lockerbie store in a BMW to make sure he carried out his orders. So his defence was very elaborate. The farmer told jurors he also experimented with tampering with jars himself and maintained he only done so because he was curious to see if his threats had been idle. When he was asked why he didn't tell the police about the travellers, he said he'd been to the police in the past and they had failed him. He said the stress of the blackmail campaign had landed his marriage in counselling with his primary school teacher spouse. So he had two children himself and his wife was obviously... A nice person that works with young children. She dedicated her life to helping kids. So imagine what she must have gone through to find out that your husband was trying to kill little children. He said that his wife would have been very scared and she would have gone to the police if she had known. He said he was on edge the whole time. I should never have got involved, he said. I should have gone to the police. But the counsellor said, the truth is, you were not in fear of any travellers or gypsies. You were carrying out your life as normal and hoping to get rich by threatening Tesco and endangering the life of others. A jury deliberated for four hours and 33 minutes and they found Wright guilty of two counts of contaminating goods and three counts of blackmail for demanding cryptocurrency from Tesco in exchange for revealing where the food was placed. He was also convicted of a further charge of allegedly demanding £150,000 worth of Bitcoin from a driver who he had once had a road rage incident with. And this is a very interesting element of the story, is the fact that he has previous examples of trying to extort people for Bitcoin. Following the incident on the A46, the driver withdrew his complaint after he received an anonymous threatening letter. Wright stood in silence in the dock as the guilty verdicts were announced. Wright is from Lincolnshire in Market Racing and he denied two counts of contaminating food and four counts of blackmail. The maximum sentence was 14 years. He was found guilty in August and he was sentenced to 14 years. This story is definitely shocking and I'm sure a lot of people would like to get some answers but sometimes there isn't the answer that you want to hear from a story. Sometimes somebody has just got into such a dark place in their mind and in their life that there's no way back for them anywhere. 
So I'm very glad that no one was seriously injured in this story. Please leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this story. I really want to hear what you got to say. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And thank you for nearly 200,000 subscribers. I really appreciate your help. Peace.